it's Jordan Byers and I had just filmed this video and then I realized my microphone wasn't recording the entire time. So now I'm using this thing and kind of like gonna piece this audio recording together so hopefully you can hear me clearly. So today's brutally honest review is going to be about the Jouet and Jeffree Star collaboration on this lip topper. This is called Skinny Dip. Oh wait, no it's not. It's not called Skinny Dip. This is called Sweet Tooth. My first reaction of this, I was very impressed with the packaging, the box that it came in, the whole nine yards. I was so impressed. It's super glittery in person. I mean, you can show somebody something on camera all day long, but when I'm looking at my monitor and seeing like what this looks like on camera, it just doesn't compare to how glittery it looks in real life. Like if you buy one of these, it's just so much glittery or glit glitterier than you would have ever thought or seen on video. So keep that in mind. I'm freaking obsessed with that. So like that is definitely a huge plus for me personally. So this is said to be a weightless lip topper that instantly refreshes and adds shimmer to your favorite lip color. So I was wearing this um, Too Faced and Candy Johnson collaboration melted matte lipstick in the color ice cream. So I was wearing that and I was going ahead and I was gonna put this Jeffree Star lip topper right over top. Well, because this lip topper has coconut oil, the coconut oil broke up all of the matte lipstick, so it was kind of like it was being removed. The glitter and the matte lipstick were kind of like mixing, and you couldn't really even see the beautiful sparkles in this lip gloss in the first place. So I feel like if you're buying this to be a lip topper, I feel like you're going to be disappointed because of the fact that it has coconut oil in it. It's just going to be more removing of your matte lip color instead of enhancing it. So if you don't know, coconut oil is often used to remove makeup and break it up before you wash your face. Like it is super hardcore in breaking up every single part of your makeup. So it makes it really easy to wipe off with a makeup wipe or with you know, face wash or all that kind of stuff. So I kind of was like, huh? When I saw that it was made with coconut oil, cause I was like, that doesn't make sense. It's just gonna break up the actual lip color. So then I looked on the website some more and it says wear alone or pair with Jouer Longwear Lip Cream. So apparently this formula with coconut oil only works with Jouer's formula of lip cream. I tried it on with another one of their lip creams. It's a metallic one called Papaya and it worked perfectly fine. So to my conclusion, you can only wear the Jouer lip toppers as a lip topper with other Jouer matte liquid lipsticks. So keep that in mind if you're buying this to specifically be a lip topper. But in my personal opinion, the color is so beautiful and sparkly and pigmented with all of the glitters in there that I wouldn't even put it over top of a matte lipstick in the first place. I would just wear it alone because it looks stunning alone. I'm going to put it on right now because my lips feel naked. I'm obsessed with how this looks on bare lips because the glitters and the pink pigment seriously enhance the look of natural lips. So for me, I recommend this as a regular lip gloss. I feel like instead of advertising it as a lip topper, they should have advertised it as a lip gloss because this is so stinking beautiful. I'm obsessed with this and I can already picture myself wearing this on a daily basis just because it's so easy to wear. It also has coconut oil so because of that coconut oil, it's going to be moisturizing my lip. I love it. It's only $16. Like only $16. I'm saying only $16 because Jouer is one of a, it's like higher end brand. So $16 for a really beautiful, glittery, sparkly, pigmented 
lip gloss. I feel like that's a great price and very, very competitive with a lot of other high-end brands that are in Sephora and Ulta and stuff like that. So I really feel like this is worth it, especially because it's $16. I mean, there's lip glosses on the market that are $30 and up and are not even as glittery as this or beautiful as this. So in my brutally honest opinion, I say yes, this is Joby recommended as a lip gloss. But as far as a lip topper over other brands of matte lipsticks, I say it's a no-go for a lip topper over other brands of matte lipsticks. Unless you have a ton of Jouer matte lipsticks that you can pair lip toppers with, their brand of lip toppers, then I feel like it's not worth it to buy it if you're specifically looking for a lip topper just because it's going to make your matte lipstick and the sparkly lip gloss look really muddy and like cakey and weird. So that's my personal opinion. Take this however you want. I recommend this as a lip gloss. It's absolutely stunning. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad and check out my vlog channel, which is called Jordan Byers Vlogs to get to know a little bit more about me and my daily life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.